Hi friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a digital planner sticker book. This one here has clickable tabs, meaning you can click on the tabs and it will redirect to that page. This one here has in total three pages and then all the stickers here are pre-cropped, meaning you can click here on the lasso tool and then you can select the object then you can move it around and then you can also copy this sticker like this and then you can go back to your digital planner and then you can click on paste to insert the sticker. You can also further resize it, click on resize and then place it anywhere you want. So if you are a business plan subscriber on Planify Pro then feel free to follow along this tutorial. I'll show you how you can take advantage of the bundle we have here available on the Hub page. So as you see right here, currently we have the My Lovely Pets collection, which you can download for free if you are subscribed to the business plan. You can then also use it commercially and you can create sticker sheets like you see here from this downloadable bundle. Um, so quickly about the bundle, uh, every time we come out with a new collection, the, la the latest one is called My Lovely Pets Collection. Every time we have a new collection, we also put the bundle up here on our hub page and we allow our business plan subscribers to download the bundles and just get the graphics itself so that you then can create uh, sticker sheets or digital planner stickers with the graphics or dashboards or anything else. So you're free to use these stickers commercially for anything you would like to create and sell. But first, maybe before we get started, let me show you how you can get a blank canvas like this, where you can then place your graphics. Now onto Planify Pro, I've opened up a new project and then you can go to Layout, Digital Planner and click to show a digital planner like this. Then you can select a background type. I'll just select it just one. I'll choose a new spine, the rings here, number nine. And then we can also make the paddings or bring the paper in by clicking on outer padding right here. Here is where we will bring in the sides like this. And then once that is completed, we can remove the widget boxes inside the planner. You can do that by clicking on this button called Edit Layout. So click on it and then you can click on the widgets, then on the minus button. And this is how we can remove or how you can add new widgets like this. But in this case, in this tutorial, we are going to remove all the widgets. So we have a blank canvas like this. Now in the sticker book, if you want to just have one page, you can just straight go to save export and then export the page you have here. But I will show you how we can create a sticker book with multiple pages. And now for the first page here, I want this page to be a sticker collection for dogs. So let's go to sticker, have sticker selected, go to widgets and then click on text to insert this text. And then here I'll just call it dog or dog stickers. And then I'll also copy to the other side or we can click on copy up here, click the other side and then click on paste and place it in the middle like this. Okay, then let's open up the multiple page menu and let's name this page dog stickers or just dog. Now let's duplicate this page. Now on the second page here, right here, we are on the second page. Let's rename this to cat. So here we're going to make a collection filled with cat stickers. Then also rename the page, uh, rename this page cat sticker and then duplicate again. And I want to be page three to be bunnies. So bunny stickers. Okay. And then here I'm also changing it to bunny. Oops. Uh, bunny like this, the same on the other side bunny stickers. Okay, so let's see. This is page one, dog, cat 
bunny stickers. Now let's add a few tabs here to the side so you can select and click on the tabs and navigate through the different pages. Go back to Planner, Layout, Digital Planner. And now let's add three tabs to each the left and the right side. Click three times to add three tabs to both the left and the right side. The first one, let's call it dog. Second one, cat. Third one, bunnies, or just bunny. Left side, the exact same. Dog, cat, and bunny. You can also just have tabs on the right side and leave the left side empty with no tabs. Now, I think the tabs are too narrow. So let's make it wider by clicking here on the wider width. You can go here and increase the sizing. Okay, this looks good, 0 0.2 inches. And then let's set the corner radius to two on the right side as well, like this. And now maybe let's also quickly change the font of the tabs. Um, I'll choose this font here and, or maybe this one here. And there we go. All that is left to do now is link the tabs to the correct page. So right now we are on page three. So let's just keep working on page three. So whenever we click on the dog tab, we want uh, this tab to redirect us to the first page where the dogs, where the dog stickers are. So this means we will have to um, select that the dog tab will go to the dog stickers and that the cat tab will go to the cat stickers and the bunnies to the bunnies. Okay, and then the same for the left side, dog will go to dog, cat to cat and bunny to bunny. Now we have finished the tabs and linking the tabs on page three. However, we now need to add these tabs to the other two pages. So let's go back to page three where we have finished the tabs and finished linking the tabs as well. And then click on apply tabs, hyperlink to other pages. And now select the background and then select the hyperlinks and then have all pages selected and click on apply the tabs. So now it will copy and paste the tabs and the links to page one and page two as well. Now you see all three pages are the same and the links are correct on every page as well. Okay, this is how you would make the background. So this is now ready to be exported and then imported into GoodNotes. Let's click on Save Export. Digital Planner, have this menu here selected and click on Batch Generate PDF. The download has completed. Let's click on Download PDF. And let's see the tabs, dog, cat, bunny, dog, cat, dog, cat, bunny. Okay, all tabs are correct. Okay, so now let's download this PDF file so we can then import it into GoodNotes. So if you are on an iPad, you can just download it to your iPad. I'll call it sticker book um, tutorial and then I'll just save it. And then now I will quickly import it into GoodNotes. So if you're following along this tutorial, please also um, download this template, download this sticker book you have created and then import it into GoodNotes. So you can open the, the template in GoodNotes or you can save it to your files. Um, for now, I'll open it up in GoodNotes and I'll say to create a new document into my Planify Pro folder. And here is my sticker book, which I call sticker book tutorial. Then we can open it up and here should be the blank canvas where we can insert the stickers. So make sure you have this one set up and next I'll show you how you can download the graphic bundle. If you are a business subscriber, you can just follow along and then also click on download the bundle here download and this will download to the bundle here and then also import this bundle into your iPad. Uh, 
double click to open up the bundle and then this bundle I'll quickly send it to my iPad like this and then I'll save it to the files and then I'll just click on my iPad and then I will save it somewhere here so I can find it easily so I have a uh, so I have a folder called graphic bundles and I actually already have it saved here so I will not save it twice but just make sure you save the graphic bundle to your iPad and you know where it is saved. Okay, I just click on cancel now back to GoodNotes. So now that you have saved your graphic bundle you want to open up GoodNotes and then up here you should have a function um, where you see three dots you should be able to select it and then swipe it up like this um, and then have it placed here. By the way, this is Mark. If you're curious how he looks like, this is him. Uh, okay, back to the tutorial. Then you would like to, then you want to open up the files, um, the files like this. And you want to open up your graphic bundles and then maybe open up first the dog collection like this and here you will see all the dogs. If I click on it, you will see that the background of the dog has been removed. So um, the stickers still have a transparent background. So we can make uh, the left section smaller than the right one. Now to import the stickers, you can just click hold on it and then, oops, and then Hold on. You can long click on it. You can click on it, click on it and hold and then drag it to the right side like this. And then you can place it anywhere else on the planner. So do it like this. You can also use a pen, an Apple pen if you have one. So click, drag like this resize it and then place it like this and then you would just repeat this step for every single sticker. I personally think that it's easier doing it by hand like this but you can also use the apple pen if you have one. Okay and then you would just drag the stickers one by one um, like you see here. The only issue here is that you cannot select multiple stickers at once. So if I click here on select and I select multiple stickers and then um, I do this, it doesn't really work. So you really have to drag them one by one like this. Okay, so once you're completed with the first page, the dog stickers, you then can move on to the next one. And then here you can work on the cat stickers. So just drag them in one by one like this. Okay, and then once that is completed, you go to the next page and do the same for the bunnies. Wrap it like this. Now let me quickly explain you um, the GoodNotes functions up here. Um, this first menu here is for um, navigating and clicking on the tabs. But if you want to select the stickers, you have to select the lasso tool here. And this will make it possible to select the stickers. So you can just make like a circle on them like this. And then you can move them around. And if you long click on it, so if you hold so if you hold on it, then you will see this menu show up and here you can then copy it and then place it somewhere else like this. Or you can also go to your planner and then paste it like this. So this is how, so if anyone would purchase your file, then this is how they would navigate and select the stickers from the digital planner book. So meaning your customers would open up the sticker book and then they would also go to lasso tool and then they would select it, click on it, click copy. Then your customer would go back to their digital planner 
and then they would uh, paste it like this. And then to resize it, they would click again and then click on resize or move it around. Then to navigate and click on the tabs, they would need to go back to this one up here, click on this one, and then uh, they would be able to navigate to navigate and click on the tabs. If you are on the lasso tool, you can't click anywhere. You also cannot write. To write, you will have to select the pen tool up here. Okay. So once your sticker book is completed, um, you want to export it by clicking here on the three dots and then click on export and then click on export all pages so you can export all three pages. Then very important is that you select the GoodNotes document file. Do not select PDF. If you select PDF, then the stickers inside will not be clickable anymore if you re-import it and open it up in GoodNotes. So it's very important you select GoodNotes so you or your customer who purchases your file will be able to select the stickers with the lasso tool. So just make sure this is selected. You can also give it a new name if you like, and then you can click on export and then save it to your iPad. Now quickly back onto Planify Pro. Let's say you want to create a digital planner sticker book uh, using other kinds of stickers on Planify Pro, which are not downloadable as a graphic bundle like this one here. Uh, what you can do as an alternative is, so for example, let's say you want to create an anime sticker book. You can then add it uh, to the template like this. So you would add them all here. Each sticker you would like to have in your sticker book, just place it here. As an, as an alternative, you can also go to the hub page and open the pre-made sticker sheet. So if you see here in our collection, we usually also create sticker sheets like this one here where they already are placed on the template. And for the anime collection, we have the same. Let me quickly scroll down and search it. It's right here. Um, I think we also have another one. Or was it just this one? Yeah, I think it's this. We also can use this one here. So open it up and then all you want to do from here is download and export this file and then open it up in your iPad. Now in order to drag them into your GoodNotes file, you need to make sure that first the exported file will be downloaded in a PNG file and second the background here has to be transparent. So go to pattern and then go to custom number one, have this here selected, and then you should see the pattern called transparent. Transparent, also make sure it is set to full. Okay, full, so you can show the full pattern that is transparent. If it's just border like this, it will just make the border transparent. Just have it set to full. Click transparent and you will know that the background is transparent if it blends in with uh, the background here on Planify Pro. So once you have selected a transparent background, go to save export and then you can select any menu. So this menu here is fine and just click on generate PDF and it will make you a PDF file. However, it will also make you a PNG file at the same time and you then want to download the PNG version. This is because PDF files cannot have transparent backgrounds, however PNG files can. So let me show you. The download is completed. If I now click on PDF, you will just get a normal regular PDF file with no transparent background because a PDF file cannot have any transparency. So you want to click on the PNG screenshot right here. And here you will have the transparent version. So you should see on your end a grayish background. So from here, um, if you're on a computer, you most likely will need to right click on the file 
in order to save it because it's an image. So just right click and then save image as. Then you want to save it to your computer. I'll call this one anime transparent like this. And then I just save it. And then you want to import this file into your iPad. Okay, and since it's a normal PNG image, it opened it up in my gallery. So you can just close it up and then go back to GoodNotes. And now to keep the tutorial simple, I'll just continue working in this template right here and showing you how you can import the anime stickers into this sticker book. So what you want to do is now click again on this three dot up here because you want to make a split screen like this. And then I will open up my gallery, my photos, and it's right here. So here it is. Um, it has to have a transparent background. So all you want to do is select, click on it and drag it to the digital planner and then click on it again and click on crop. And now you want to crop the first sticker you want to insert. So for example, this dog right here, if you have three hands selected, you will be able to select it like this and then click on done. And then here is the sticker. To do the next sticker, again, click on it, drag it, and then you want to click on crop and then you want to crop the next sticker. You can also click on rectangle and then here you can select the sticker like this. Then click on done and there you go and then place it like this. Another way or a much easier way maybe would be to just go here and click on copy and then you can also close this and then you can click here, allow paste click on paste and this will paste the sticker sheet like this and then here click it again and then crop and then you can select the next one okay drag it here and then again click on paste click again crop and then do the next one okay so maybe just um, clicking on paste might be easier than dragging it from the window from the left side. Let's do this cute dog here. Okay. And then done. And there you go. And then the stickers are all selectable like the other dogs. To select them, you can just circle it. And then you'll be able to select. Long click, you can click on resize, or you can also click on copy and paste them anywhere else in your planner, like this. Okay, so now you also know how to use the stickers available on Planify Pro, which are not downloadable as individual PNG files. So this is how you can create a sticker book using the graphics from Planify Pro. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook, and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye.